Hey man, what do you got for me today? And it better be something good because I just had to turn down this John Lennon piece that was apparently autographed by him, but no, it was spelled John Lemon. So what do you got? Ah, sorry about that, Rick. Well, I don't have a John Lemon piece for you today, but I do have this super rare coin from the year 1801, and it even has a little typo on there, so you know that's worth a lot of money. <laughs> Listen, man, I don't know how much I believe you. You're telling me you got a 200 plus year old quarter, man. Look at that. That thing looks like the quarter I gave to the homeless guy in the corner, man. Take a look. All right, let's take a look at this quarter, man. Okay, hold on. Let me let me get my glasses real quick. Because on camera, I just be looking at them. But in real life, I actually need them, okay? So let's see here. Um, so what do you think? I mean, yeah, okay, look. It says 1801, and the typo is right there. So it looks real, but look, half the stuff that comes in here always turns out to be fake, so. Yeah, but you saw the year in the quarter, right? It says 1801. Of course I saw that date, man. What are you talking about? That's like the first thing I looked at. That's the only thing that adds value to this quarter, man. Come on, man. Okay, look, I'm gonna ask you this question. How much do you want for this? And be reasonable because I got a business to run here, man. I was actually thinking 200K. Damn, 200K? What are you talking about, man? No, I'd rather get the Ferrari I was looking at last week than spend it on this quarter. Come on, what does it look like? My name is Rick Bezos? Nah, bro, no, it's not, okay? Look, I don't got 200K to be throwing around, especially on a quarter, all right? Rick, come on, look, you could resell this thing for like double the price. You know there's a lot of collectors for coins like this. Yeah, you're right on that, man. But um, I just, I don't even know if this thing is real, man. Like, I don't know if this is real or anything, but... Okay, look, here's what we're gonna do, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and... Wait, you probably know what I'm gonna say. I'm, I'm not even gonna say Wait, it. Wait, hold on. No, I, I don't know what you're gonna do. How do you not know? Have you not seen the show? Okay, look, here's what I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna call a buddy of mine who specializes in old coins, all right? And from the... Well, okay, look, he says he specializes in old coins, but in all reality... What do we know, huh? He might not even specialize in old coins. Huh? And it's funny because you guys kind of go along with whatever he says. You know, that's kind of funny. Uh, yeah, yeah, that sounds good to me, I guess. Hey, Rick, what do you got for me today, man? No, why do you always come in saying that, man? I called my coin expert, which is you. So what do you think I got for you, man? Okay, my bad. Uh, do you do you have the coin? Yeah, yeah, it's right here. All right, let's take a look here. Hey, hey, come here, come here. So when he starts looking at this and if he tells me if it's real or not and the price of it, try not to cause a scene if it's not anything you like, all right? Because we got to keep it professional for the cameras, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, wow, 1801. Dang, a quarter from 1801 is actually super rare. How did, how did you get this? So I just found it in a box of old stuff that was like my grandpa's, so... How do y'all be finding stuff like this, man? I wish I could find a rare coin with a lot of money. Anyway, Mikey, come on, come on. Let's, let's, let's just cut to the chase. Is this thing real or not? Because I got to see a customer in like another 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah, sorry, Rick. Okay, so this quarter is actually... Oh, Mikey, come on, let's go. Stop with the dramatics, man. Come on, is this thing real or not? I got things to do. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, so unfortunately, guys, this quarter is not real because of a small marking I saw. It does not match the original. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. How do you how do you know that, okay? Because I'll be calling you all the time, and you're my coin guy, right? But how do you know that this thing is not real? Well, come on, Rick. You know me. I'm, like, certified for this. Yeah, well, I just had to check, man. And come on, one little small marking makes this thing not real. Like, come on, I'm sure I could just cover that up a little bit and still sell it, no? I mean, you could do that, but honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't advise doing that because the customer would come back, say this thing is fake and then it looked bad on you and the show and it's just a whole bad thing <sighs> you're right you're right okay look anyway anyway if this coin was real if it was real how much how much would it actually be worth okay and just cut the dramatics just tell me how much it is okay ah uh, yeah if this thing was real i would say like 400k damn 400k damn is right you wish that thing was real huh thanks for coming in man yeah yeah no problem man. sorry about that guys have a good day okay well sorry about that man i mean this guy says it's not real so it's not real but um it's a cool looking coin so i can still give you maybe like 100 bucks for it 100 bucks <sighs> okay you know what fine like you can just get it off my hands all right that's crazy. What are you going to do with it, though? Oh, I'm still selling it for 400K. I don't care what this guy says. Come on, man. Who's going to tell the difference if it's real or not?